Mike with Standard Time, back with Ray White of Scout West, the developers of Standard Time, and we are answering your questions about how to utilize Standard Time just a little bit better. How's it going, Ray? All right. So in a previous video, I noticed that you just kind of went over Gantt charts. Right. I didn't really even explain it, um, but now I know Standard Time has them, so I'm going to bring it up. So okay. why don't you just um, explain to us how Gantt charts work within Standard Time? All right, well, let's uh, switch over to the screen here, and I will show them. Um, I'm looking at the timesheet right now. I'm going to click on the first tab. You see these six tabs along the top. I'm going to click on the Project Tasks tab. And we're now looking at an area that is typically used for um, managing projects and tasks. Okay, so you see a list of tasks here. Those are the same tasks that you would see in your timesheet. Okay, so... Often administrators, managers will go in here to set up your uh, project tasks, okay? okay? So the column that you're seeing on the right-hand side is the Gantt chart. And this was invented uh, back in the 1910s by a guy named uh, Henry Gantt. And uh, basically the, the idea here was just to create a kind of a bar chart that shows you these bars that represent the starting and stopping time for every task, okay? So if I click on a task, here, select it. You can see which bar belongs to that one. Um, but uh, essentially, uh, you can scroll back and forth in time just to see these bars. Now, if you open up Standard Time for the first time, you may not see this column. So what you should do is go to the View menu, choose Columns. You'll see Gantt listed here in this list. You can click on it and then click Add here, and that will add it to your view and you'll see it. And so that's really it. That's the Gantt chart. That's awesome. So I see that you have uh, blue lines and red lines. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do those red lines represent? Okay, so these red bars here represent tasks that are overdue. So the blue ones are normal ones. You see the percent complete, the little bar in the middle. But the red bar uh, represents tasks that are uh, overdue that you should take a look at. That's awesome. Gantt charts in standard time. It's a really good thing. Go to the website, submit your questions, and let us know what you think. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.